All right, so I am in Denmark, Wisconsin, just finishing up this wonderful Carolina coupe. This is a six by 18 uh, coupe or footprint. That's the run size of the four by six hen house. And uh, this is where we normally take a bunch of pictures. Well, I've already done that with a DSLR. And I thought it'd be fun to take a quick video and upload it so you guys can see some fun stuff. Uh, all white paint, black roof, black trim, gives it a great classy look, especially with the board and batten siding on the hen house. And also up here, just looks really, really sharp. You're also gonna notice solar panel. This has got solar power that powers a couple features I'm gonna show you here in a little bit. You can see the apron right down at the bottom here. Keeps those predators out. They like to dig underneath at night. Uh, we got a couple girls in here. Half inch hardware cloth. I'm gonna come inside here, coop tender, Wi-Fi chicken door, so you can let them free range. Uh, solar control module, Wi-Fi module, fun stuff there. Uh, over here, everyone's new favorite is that water bar, horizontal spring-loaded nipples. We got a whiskey barrel out there, so we repurposed that, filling up with rainwater. Got a nice little chocolate Orpington here. And they have not been in the coop more than 24 hours. Got some younger ones. That's the battery in a marine box back there that holds all the power from the solar panel. And here's where we decide to hang this feeder. You don't have to hang it there. It was just nice and easy. That way you're not monkeying with a chain. You can just literally just walk up to it, unhook it, just like that. It doesn't get any easier. Uh, but you do have a lot of roofing up here. A lot of wood for the trusses. You can hang all kinds of feeders, uh, waters if you want, if you didn't have the water bar. Here's the ramp. Get up inside the hen house. Oh, here's something a lot of people ask us is why don't we have a door to close that off? Well, you can up in northern climates. It might be beneficial because you can try to keep it a little bit warmer. But here's the thing. You don't need it. This run protects that door. There's where you want an automatic door is right there. If you want to be able to let them free range, which is always a must. If you're going to get chickens, and you can't let them free range. Get as big of a run as possible. Anyone that owns chickens is going to tell you that. So let's walk around on the other side here. I'll show you the other side of the rain system. There's the gutter, downspout, diverter, into the whiskey barrel. Now this water bar, we did something a little bit different. We got a stainless steel hose going on this side from the bottom of the rain barrel. You come over here, same thing. And the reason for that is in the winter time, uh, we're gonna put a circulator pump so that we circulate the water through so it prevents it from freezing and also put some heat trace wire around the water bar. Over here, coop tender, Wi-Fi door. You can uh, open and close it manually from anywhere in the world, put it on timer, use the photo cell, whichever works for you. And of course back here, one of the best parts is uh, the doors, opens up the entire hen house, makes it real easy to get to. You got that little deep litter door. Well, I shouldn't say little, it's like a tailgate. Goes almost the entire width of the hen house. That makes it real easy when you go to clean it out once a year or once every other year, or if not longer. Uh, inside we have a bunch of industrial hemp. Here's some packages right here. Uh, we got one bale in there. Here's three more bales right there. That's what they look like when they get shipped to you. Awesome, awesome stuff. Everyone that has it loves it. Uh, so let's open up the doors real quick. Well, actually, before we do that, check out these screen doors. Actually, I should call them solid doors. Here we go. Tons of ventilation. Super, super nice to have that ability. These lift off, you can watch our more fancier professional videos where you see that. Again, I'm just going off the cuff with my smartphone. Just thought I'd try something a little bit different. I'm gonna close them up. They all have locks. You can add a carabiner if you want. So we're gonna open them up and open up the entire back of the hen house. And open up these doors. Doing this all one-handed here. And there you see the hen house. To give you an idea, this is six foot wide and that's about seven and a half foot tall at the peak. So I'll kind of give you an idea. No bending over when it comes time to clean. There's your industrial hemp. Again, the stuff is awesome. There's the other side of the egg hutch, which I haven't showed you yet the outside, but that's the inside. No nesting material yet. Um, roost bars, Hall Douglas for pine, little ladder, perch bar, make it easier. You got smaller girls that want to hop up inside the egg hutch. Makes it that much easier. Oh, well, before I forget, all the cardinal window sliders. Come with all the coops. This stuff is awesome. You can see it's trying to break it with a hammer. A little overkill, but hey. Uh, oh, you know, while I'm in here, 
take my word for it, that's a ridge cap, allows all that hot air to escape. And also, part of the Wi-Fi module, we have an egg laying uh, light there if you want to add artificial lighting in the wintertime. Some people argue that you shouldn't do that. Some say it's perfectly fine. You make up your own mind. All right, so we'll close these doors. Here's the egg hutch. Also, board and bat siding just looks really, really sharp. Um, open it up. High density polyethylene also inside the egg hutch. Add your straw, whatever nesting material you want to use. Close this up, add a carabiner if you want. So that's the coop. Just wanted to show you a quick video. Thought it'd be fun instead of just a bunch of pictures. And again, we're in Wisconsin, uh, Denmark, Wisconsin, right outside Green Bay. And uh, absolutely gorgeous up here. We had beautiful weather putting this coop together. I wish the client was here. She had to go to Chicago. Um, but we did do a customer walkthrough video that we'll have edited and uploaded here soon. But there it is. Hope you guys watched the video and liked it. If you have any questions, hit the call button on Facebook. It'll come right to me, and I'll be here waiting for you. Thanks for watching.